It is Monday, May 23rd today, and um, things are growing real well. We've been having some rainy days here, and the next 10-day forecast doesn't uh, <laughs> doesn't look real dry. So um, these are the peonies. There's one on the right was established, um, and then there are two more that were new ones from Walmart last year. We put those in just about a month ago, and they're already almost the same size. So this is going to just look like one great big dense bush. Um, these are Stella de Aura Day Lilies, and uh, they're growing pretty huge. They were they're about two years old, and um, they were really tiny plants when we got them. Uh, we're pretty much to the end of the forsythias now. Uh, we had a good three-week run um, or so of just uh, you know beautiful yellow blossoms on there. Um, the nine barks have come in with their pretty red leaves. Um, uh, this thistle is kind of interesting. It's just, it grows like a weed. <laughs> um, this is a uh, cross regal hosta that was uh, transplanted from our farm up north. And actually it, uh, it, it was split. I, I took a few clumps off of this uh, last summer and sold them. And um, I, I would say probably almost half of it, actually, I had um, taken off and, and sold. And uh, this is what was left, and I planted this here later in the summer. And um, it's really pretty, and it's, it's much larger than I had anticipated here. Um, these others, uh, this is Royal Standard, and um, these were uh, split. We got these, we bought these from someone at a rummage sale, and it was a plant that was chopped up into quite a few pieces. and. It's coming real well. It looks like they're going to be a pretty good size, um, you know, also. Uh, these hostas are two years old. They were very small plants at Walmart two years ago. And they're very dense, coming in real well. Looks nice. Um, our honey locust is finally getting its leaves and looking nice. So hopefully I'll put on some growth this year. It's not growing as fast as I thought it would, um, you know, since we got it. So... This is the second year for these hostas as well. I can't remember which hosta this is, but um, it's a pretty one and does well here and looks like it's coming in well. Um, just about to the end of the tulips using here. Uh, a few of them holding under a couple petals, but they're pretty much done. But uh, it was real pretty tulips this year, a few good weeks of them. These are the, um, the variegated willows, and I cut these totally to the ground about two months ago. And now in the last uh, week or two here, um, they've been pushing out this new growth. So I think they'll end up looking real, real sharp this year. Um, this is the golden elderberry. You know, I, I thought I kind of cut this back a lot um, two months ago, and uh, I didn't know how well it would grow out. Well, it's, um, it's growing out in a big hurry. Uh, so... That was no worry. Um, this is the uh, the weeping willow, and uh, it's doing well. And uh, a few branch tips, tips there. I see I need to trim, and uh, some more lilies here. They have, this grass just grows like crazy. I have to go around and pull it out. So you know, it's the grass in between the the plants there. I try and get that out. Um, and then these are some various color violas we just put in yesterday around the oak tree. So, and the oak tree is just starting to get some leaves. So um, hopefully we're going to see them elsewhere on the tree. It's only these two branches here that I see them on so far. So uh, I mean, these look like buds to me on the rest of the tree. So I think that I think we're hopefully going to be okay with it. Hmm. Trying to scratch that and see if I could. I'm not able to scratch that. I don't know why. If that's just tough bark or what's going on. Okay. Well, that one I'm able to scratch. No, that doesn't look real green there, actually. Yeah, I guess we're, we're going to have to see. I don't know if part of this tree has... Oh, yeah, I'm not able to scratch that really easily either. 
Um, I don't know if part of this tree has died back. I mean, it's not dead, obviously, because of these leaves, but, um... And that's, uh, this looks pretty brown. You know, I had this last year... Okay, that one's good. Um, last summer, when we had a real hot week towards the end of August, it, it, its leaves dried up on it, and I guess I just had a couple days where I didn't water it enough, but... Well, I guess we're going to give it a little more time here and, and see what it does, and... Um, oh, it's, I didn't even see this. It's pushing out some new... It's pushing out some new leaves down here on the trunk. Some new branches. I guess we'll have to see. I guess I might consider moving that if it's still, um, if it's really, uh, you know, died back and it's, um, if it's really lost a bunch of branches there and it's not going to be doing much, I'd consider putting it somewhere else. And, um, you know, instead of just leaving a little struggling tree here. Um, Last thing is the tiger eye sumac. We put that in a month or two ago here. Uh, a month ago. It was around when we did the mulch five weeks ago. It's looking good. So. Alright, well that's our update for the 23rd.